Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam. Here with the 63rd session of the Underland Dungeons and Dragons campaign, we have Austin as Eric, Ryan as Henwick, Bob as Cowan, Nick as Jimmy. Last time, Eric hired various people for war. Yes. Got some mercenaries there. Uh, Jimmy confirmed that the Queen's army uh, is been they hired. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's been hired. Uh, Henwick. Uh, did some zoo work with the Mage Guild, and uh, spent much of his time copying down spells. Did I see a dragon turtle? Um, sure, why not? Cool. <laughs> there, there's probably a really good reason why not, but at least you let him have it. <laughs> uh, and Cowden worked at the forge. <laughs> and we're all so surprised. <laughs> uh, I got work to do. Let's see, ending the day, uh, Henwick still copying spells... Uh, others a day into the trip out into towards the mushroom town. Uh, Eric was planting beans. Yes. The most recent uh, made some pink toads. Yep. And then he touched one. Yes. yes. Times nine bright pink toads. So, uh... Let's see. Mm. Oh, I wasn't part of it. Uh, no. I know you two were. Um, yeah, were you there? Did you stay back in town? I don't recall. Well, I invited you, then you went, no, 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 I have to go. <laughs> I probably would have gone. <laughs> Most of us, I'd like to leave Eric to die on his own. Not even in Baravan. He's the one that has a thing on both sides. True enough. <laughs> Who, Eric? Yeah, yeah. He, he has a standee on both sides. Yeah, so he because he walks on the ceiling so much. So he was the one that. Uh, These are mine. <laughs> you don't even use half those anymore. Like I'm not ninety percent. Where's me? Okay. Oh, I couldn't. Go with the red base. I couldn't see it through the camera. Cameras are notoriously hard to see through. Unless, Unless you, you guys had it on. Yeah. Point. <laughs> <laughs> Although at the same time they couldn't see us at all if not through the camera. <laughs> I still have all those though. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're coming to us through the power of the internet. Alright. Um, it would be really annoying if you lost a bank and had to recast control skeletons on all of them. That's why I got more giants. Oh. <laughs> I have all these stuff. And more giants. <laughs> um, y'all need some initiatives. So, just for reference, where are the other pink toads? Uh, they're currently being crushed underneath the thing's feet. Oh, they're all in that space? Yes. So I, is that specifically so I don't go and touch all of them? Uh, no, I just decided to make one really big thing instead of letting you summon a whole bunch of different things. Oh. <laughs> uh, 12. 20. I'm not very good at going first. High five. I'm better at it than Vic is, so apparently. Just look at it. Well. Neat. Yeah, let's see, fighting against the Mega Armor Demon Knight. Just look at it like, hey guys, look what I did. <laughs> Good thing you didn't eat the bean. They don't work if you eat them. Did you try? You have to bury them in the ground to make them work. You have to plant them. I mean, they do something else if you eat them. They don't do anything fun. If you bury them, they almost never do anything good. Disagree. Point case in point. Jimmy. This is pretty cool. Let's not forget the statue. To encourage people to adventure more. <laughs> yeah, that statue is uh, a good critic. No, I think the statue was talking about how little he adventured. Yeah. <clears throat> He had a good that point. was a good point to help me get back on the point and straight and narrow. <laughs> Hurry, Jimmy, run up and roll a natural 20. Or the well, uh, uh, wine. That's next turn if this turn fails. Okay. Banishment. That does look kind of demony. So he needs a charisma save of 18. I think. That's 8, so that's 4 plus 6. No, that's. 20, I think. 
because proficiency is six plus my six is twelve. Yeah. A charisma 20. check of twenty. I'll be sent back to the pit from which he came. Um, he fails. Okay. Uh, first, was he an extraplanar creature? Yeah. Okay, he's just gone. Yeah, the Ooh. target is made to do a different plane. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> the target is damaged. There's another toad there on the ground. <laughs> you touch it? It's not my turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, we skip his turn. Fireball. Kaladin? <laughs> Bam! Fireball. <laughs> Just <laughs> It's my turn. Fireball. On the toads. Okay. How's it twenty? Shouldn't spell DC be nineteen? Uh, I he's, he's got a plus six stat. Ah, there you go. That'll mm-hmm. do it. Yeah, it would be reading. nineteen. <laughs> Book reading. Yeah, that's what I thought. Twenty. Yeah, that, that's always what I wonder with the really high CR. Can you just go? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, shake, to say. just shake your finger at something and say no. So I think he I couldn't I... make pets. <laughs> <laughs> he has a negative to charisma. <laughs> you just gotta say no to him. <laughs> Maybe he had an advantage. He didn't have legendary. Uh, advantage just... doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, even one. Oh, you mentioned that. Point. My first thought is let me check. Does he have legendary? <laughs> Because uh, advantage, he still can't roll higher than a twenty minus one. Nineteen. Yeah, look, he can make my save. <laughs> look, my tasty save. Well, that so, worked. So yeah. Sorry for the hype up, as if something was going to happen <laughs> exciting this time. Uh, that was a totally CR twenty creature. If it makes you feel better, he, he Adam, could have probably killed us. Oh yeah, <laughs> devastatingly. But uh, he had a weak spot, and you. Uh, <laughs> You found it from the start. Uh. Yeah, Nick was been talking about that he's just going to banish it for a while now, so you should probably stop telling him things. No matter what, when you put down that thing, I was going to try to banish it first. Well, that looks pretty demony. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to face tank it for a while, but Nick <laughs> likes to ruin my fun. <laughs> okay, that so was a nightmare. Those things make you take save or die. Yeah, uh, see, that's lame. <laughs> <laughs> so, all, all your... Frogs got fireball. Do you still have more beans left? How many fires did I make? Three? No. Was it three? Two? Yeah, you, you've made at least, least three bl- blue fires. Three, four, the statue. five, so I've got two left? Yeah. I guess. I feel like you should be the one keeping track of them, but... So did I. So sure. I really should be, but I didn't mark it down at all. <laughs> Which is what I was looking for. I'm like, I really should have marked this down by now. But I only <laughs> have seven beans, so that's why I have so many fires I made. Yeah. I really should have. Uh, you created three blue campfires. There you yeah. go. That's okay. My notes once again save the day. You're great. Oh, <laughs> two more beans. God, I wish I went to that school, once. you know, and save <laughs> lessons well, no, you and just for are these those dead notes. Toads edible? Uh, the dead toads uh, have disappeared into puffs of bright pink smoke when they were oh. fire hot. <laughs> well, that's not it. 68. Almost awesome. <laughs> yep. Three Kim fires. Almost a statue, nice. And nine pink toads. Got the blue fire. <laughs> what does the blue fire do? Nothing. It's a blue magical campfire. It's a campfire. So, like, the seven beans, or the six beans, he's only had two things do anything useful. He had seven. First was the statue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the six beans, so far, only two of them have done anything useful. We had XP for that kill, right? Would kill. (laughs) (laughs) For that defeated encounter. Yeah, we vanquished that encounter. (laughs) What encounter? He showed up on the board and everything. I roll initiative. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you guys have any idea what they're talking about? I, no clue. Probably bushes pick beans. Okay, roll that so, beautiful the ground bush. beneath you rumbles. 
Does 20 hit? Yes. No. It's not attacking you. My AC is still 13. Well, I'm most proud of that at this point. <laughs> You're still alive. <laughs> well, I mean... So you've got one more AC. He's died right? a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm alive right now. <laughs> Every time you've died, there hasn't been a combat situation. That I take part in as well. You get yourself killed. Uh, no, only Jimmy's died in combat. And I shouldn't have. But because, I, because I forgot major aspects of my character. Yep. <clears throat> because he has resistance to necrotic damage. If you uh, take 37 piercing damage as a bullet erupts as you're pushing the bean down into the ground and grabs it onto your arm with its mouth. <laughs> a what now? Land shark. A bullet. Land shark. Why don't you just say that? <laughs> because its name is a bullet. Yeah. So, I know what he was talking about. It sounds like Do a French roll. Do you think this roll. is the bean <clears throat> or bad luck? Do you still have the bean in your hand? Do I still have the bean? Seems to have eaten the bean. Hmm. Whatever. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Start eating it. Are bean. bullets animals? Do we have to banish it too? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's going to be monstrosity. This is monstrosity. Yes. <laughs> Quick check before we get there. How thick is its neck and how long is my sword? It's long enough and not thick enough. He accidentally cut off Vic's hand. The neck of uh, neck. Eric. Yes. Your turn. You literally have your mouth, your hand in the mouth of the enemy. Earthquake? Well, yes, that would probably F up an underground creature, but. <laughs> or option B, you could teleport away. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna uh, subtle spell thunderstep. Have lightning ball. Hmm. You, you yeah. wanted to not talk? Why? Well, I he's got my hand. Somatic components. No. It thunderstep a, specifically wouldn't. Yeah, it doesn't have a somatic component. It, it, I just escaping. assumed it did. No. <laughs> no, no, it's an escapee grapple spell. Oh. Well, there we go. Then I don't need to spend a sorcery point. Yeah, it's a I'll, I'll spell, save. Uh, I'll save that sort of sorcery point. I just assume a lot of things require <laughs> somatics and just cast subtle to be safe. No, a lot of the teleports are verbal. Then yes, I teleport away, like behind Kaladin. Okay. I, I believe. I think it's only three d tens. Yeah, so I believe you do damage with that. Con save. Con save. I got 3d10 thunder damage. There we go. Probably half of whatever that is. Yeah. Well, my 23. Save, my save's 19. Well, it, it's a giant armored shark Eleven. in con, so... <laughs> 15 damage. And is that? Thunder damage. So then, 7. Uh, oh, that's right. He's next. He was next to me. Take the opposite... Let's see. Half my level is... 8... Eight, eight lightning damage for being next to me when I cast a spell. Okay, and that does not have a save to have. So. No, you were next to me. Take it. So 15. <laughs> you, were, you were next to me. Take half my level in damage. Is that neener, it for you? Neener, neener. Yes. Jimmy? I can't keep close enough. <laughs> Why are you a melee fighter? Because I wanted to be a melee caster fighter. Seems like a bad plan. Wasn't the best plan. Fairy fire. Dex save of 20. Uh, yeah, 20. No. Okay. Advantage! <laughs> Got him? It... it. It didn't hit him though, so I fairy fired him. He just said no. No, yeah, no, no on him. He, oh. he he doesn't make the save. Oh, well, that's he understood. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, 20 hit? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's prone. Okay. Because Dai got two nines, so both of them would be 20. And do I need to roll fire separate? No. You could still roll a damage to see if he crit. No, no, no that was. So. I you got nine, nine twice. twice. <laughs> uh... Uh, 19 damage. Okay. And then... Five. Yeah, the, uh, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, uh, 15 damage. And then I get another attack. Natural 20. It can be crit, right? Yeah. It's 14. 27. Uh, 34 damage. I hit him so good. Now I had advantage because of my axe. I don't know, but... Though I do appreciate you fairy firing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wind up using all the advantages I have in my axe in this combat anyway. You get, uh, if you would like to take it, an attack of opportunity as it moves away. It's on the ground. Hey, I can... Yeah. So? <laughs> Is it because it's a land shark? Well, or it could just spend its movement to, to stand up or yeah, whatever. That is not, yeah, that is not difficult to. Oh, uh. You can still move at half speed. Well, does, if it yeah. stood up to move, does 13 hit it? Uh, 13 does not hit. Oh, dang. Uh, it would have been funny if I knocked it back on the ground. Yeah. One, uh. Twenty nine damage. So as it starts backing down its hole to flee, you kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Bad dog. It was hungry. It saw a meal. It regretted that meal. <laughs> Bad dog. Now the question is, what, what was that th- random things, or can we cut this land shark open and find a bee in its stomach? Yeah, pull it out of the hole. Well, you're the strongest. You're going to have to do a pull it out of the hole. It, it, if I you're like, no. I already did. I just said I pull it out of the hole. Oh. You're looking for a bean in a mountain of guts. I don't know. It, it's really up to Eric. Do you want the adventure of searching through shark guts for your bean? Or yeah. just planting your last bean? No, I mean, once the dies, the bean will get in the ground and it'll be a surprise for somebody else. <laughs> Random person gets an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, forward. Yeah, also, if this was Eric, they'd have to still be alive and be miniaturized and injected into the bloodstream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last, we got one beam left. <laughs> he went through a lot of trouble to buy these beams. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am letting him be entertained. I don't think I bought these. I think I found these. You went into a lot of trouble wanting to get them for a while, and I let you have them. Huh. Just like he got his rod of rope. 91. That's gotta be good. I'm so upset. Blue fire? No. The, the temple? The, the Our next three sections are... <laughs> Come on, give me something good. What's 91? Or did I just miss something good? Could be that one. It's even a proper according to you, 91. We get hit by a giant tsunami wave. I think he's measuring it out a pyramid. <laughs> yeah, so it's 60 yes! foot by 60 feet. So it is a small pyramid. It's, you know... <laughs> All right. I'll take it. Pyramid. Nice. Besides coming with a legendary creature, do you think it comes with loot? So what's with the pyramid? Yeah, there's a... Basically, from where you point up, which, by the way, since it erupts where he's standing, the we point of a pyramid, uh, 
Uh, basically, you, you yeah, you, you see this sort of point thing as this structure just erupts, pushing mushroom towers uh, at one of the outer edges. It breaks the stem from one of the towering mushrooms that collapses. One of the ones that's nice. some, you know, hundred and twenty feet tall mushroom is timbering, falling down, echoing sound throughout this chamber. Scrapsing many smaller things as it goes down on its way. <laughs> You've made a ruckus. <laughs> what well, well, air in the distance. And a uh, doesn't make noise for more than three hundred feet. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, what looks like almost like a textured, like a swirling red and blackish stone pyramid uh, sits before you. Nice. So, I mean, how do I get in? Do, how do you I look for a door. <laughs> walk around the four sides. Do any of these faces have a door? I was like, do you see no door? They buried people in pyramids. There's got to be stuff inside. I knock on it. Just on the stone. <laughs> Solid stone. Like, how bad do you want in? Like well, I don't have anything that breaks stone. I've got mason's tools, but I'm not there. D does this rich stone have, uh, like, grout and mortar and stuff? Uh, it is, yeah, it is assembled from bricks of this stone. Yeah, it is bricks that are, say, you know, maybe six to eight inches wide, three to four tall. Carved going up. Given how smooth side, slashy and indestructible my sword is, I, I go and try to cut out some bricks just by jamming it and cutting through the mortar. I don't know, does your earthquake damage buildings? Probably. <laughs> Can. Because my, my only other thought is just be Vegeta and just start going ba 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 and shooting Eldritch Blasts at it. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's that resilient, I can use the fast one. I don't know. You, uh, you're, you're not one of those people with thaumaturgy. You, you can't just, like, open door if there's a secret door. No. Well, that would have to be an unlocked door. Yes. <laughs> I do have thaumaturgy. Oh. Huh. Well, like, I'm pretty sure I have it. I do. For a second there, I just thought the sorcerers didn't have, you know, they don't. cantrips. And if Paula <laughs> says you can use your chime. Chime of opening. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> Knock. That kind of gives you the borders of how big it is. So do you try casting your thaumaturgy at all? Well, I don't see any doors. No. Okay. So I don't think of it, no. Okay, then me cutting through mortar it is. Is his sword effective on this cool no. looking stone? It's not. Is it actually stone? Yes. It's not like something that just looks like stone? No. As far as you can tell, it is an actual stone. Does the dwarf think it's actual stone? He does. I don't believe he actually gets the stone card bonus. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Huh? Is it stone? I'm not a dwarf. But aren't you? Aren't you? I'm just assuming he's got the beard. He he gets the bonus. No. I mean, but I mean, it looks like stone. Uh. All right, fine. I get up to about uh, here-ish, 
angling down towards where I think the center is. So you're like actually like clambering up onto. Well, it's how good was it? This deep? Yeah, it's it's not that crazy. It, but it's definitely a clambering thing. It yeah. is a do- yeah. It's yeah, not up a- there. <laughs> but he's also spider climb boy. So yeah. And then I get up to here because I think I only got a twenty foot long hole to make, and I use wish to make pass wall. Which does not incur stress because it's a fifth level spell. I have to look up what pass wall is. <laughs> five foot, five foot uh, wide, eight foot tall, twenty foot deep hole in dirt, plaster, stone. I made a tunnel. That's why I did like twenty foot. Because I'm going from this side, I might not quite reach the center. <laughs> so pass wall. Which, it's whatever spell you need. Mm-hmm. I was wondering, I'm like, did this game, does Fifth still have Passwall? Yep. Transmutation. Duration. Last for one hour. One hour. <laughs> so this stone's not really gone, it's just sitting there being air. Yes, I have <laughs> magicked it away. For one hour. Don't be in it when it goes back. Is teleportation also transmutation? Conjuration. Right. Yeah, they got rid of that. That was 3-0. They changed that <laughs> in 3-5. Yep, 3-5, it's which to summon yourself somewhere else. Yep. As opposed to Star Trek Transporter, <laughs> break yourself down into pieces and throw it. <laughs> yep. Reassemble it over there. Well, that's what I'm saying. You didn't make the stone go anywhere. It's just sitting there being air. It's pretending to be air right now. Yeah. You um, see ahead of you uh, mostly golden... And uh, sort of, you know, ornate little the backs of little statues and things just sort of sitting down in a chamber below. Oh yeah, loot. That that's something you should have done in David's game. You should have used your transmutation power to turn rock into air, and then have somebody breathe in, and then switch it back. I have to be touching it. Wait, right. like, Calvin, do you want to slide in first? It is editing. Yeah. I slide on down. Yeah. Many ornate, uh, you know, statues, say three to four feet tall of various things lining this back wall, um, sort of like kneeling uh, servants. Um, there are shadow, yeah, you know, like, there is like an active dust in the air right now as some tribe way off somewhere else in the desert is like, where'd our pyramid go? <laughs> <laughs> we had one. Was right There's a little there. kid in there who's just <laughs> terrified. He was told not to explore the pyramid because bad things happen and now we see it. To be fair, it was a really, really realize sad where this, pyramid. So, there are otherwise... Um, in fact, probably as you open that, you did hear a few clangings, like as the, the thing, and, and there are just, you know, basically golden, like, lining each sidewall, or like hanging golden rods yeah, that are probably across. probably those down. And then, like, other similar rods that just sort of are rolling across the floor. Uh, there is what appears to be some sort of entrance on the opposite side. <laughs> uh, and there is uh, sort of a ornate, very, you know, Larger than man-sized sort of sarcophagus with all sorts of jewels and gems and precious stones all set amongst the top of... Now, was it set at the back of the room, therefore we're landing on the sarcophagus? No, it's in the mid. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, hit statue. With what? With his axe. He, he assumes they're gonna pop to life, so you he's break free. a golden statue, <laughs> going all the way through. Oh yeah. How high is the ceiling in here? Um, at the very center above uh, the sarcophagus is probably about twenty feet. I point at you and point down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. portal hole. I was checking for like dart traps. That's pretty common fare in pyramids. Well, not up here in this part. No. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll go back. Do you check out that entrance? Well, I mean, 
after we loot. Yeah. We got all this stuff first. As we just throw golden statues onto the slightly diminished pile of gold. Heavily diminished. I spent a lot of it. Mm. And I, sp- I spent all the small denominations, too. So I've got uh, you do notice that there are slight strings and threads of fabric that seem to be around the, the golden poles. Oh, there used to be, like, sheets there? You oh. just did a very sudden decompression of the room. <laughs> and it was very old fabric. Well, uh, yeah. Pick up Rod. Pink. Don't know what's her. Uh, it is just gold, but no, it is actually a hollow rod. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's just... <laughs> I still have to chop it into pieces to get it in the hole. <laughs> yeah, we, we it, it feels like forty feet tall. No, they're, they're they're each about ten feet. There's oh, several okay. of them. <laughs> yep, all the little things we put every all the little things into the hole, and then pick up the hole and give it back to Vic, and then we deal with the sarcophagi. So you put so all of you put treasure into the hole. You just work on that. Mm-hmm. Curses. Curses yeah. on all of us. Yes. The the hole is not in the pyramid. You all have disadvantage on all saving throws. And, and we notice that as soon as we put... No, you have no idea, but I'm letting you know. Okay. <laughs> Until you make a saving throw, you don't realize anything's going wrong. But you rather than me have to things. remember it, then I'm just telling you. <laughs> but we're still in the pyramid. So yeah, you have it down to just... Yeah, but the treasure isn't. <laughs> We're down to just the uh, sarcophagus. But we don't technically have possession of the treasure. But we still do. You removed it. Okay. We you know how, you know how in... Oh. You know how with the Aztec gold is taken, it doesn't matter that they... You mean the Spanish with... gold that the Aztecs were holding on to temporarily for them? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I remember it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Spanish. The pirates were all first. A, it was the Spanish they, gold. Even though they no longer had the treasure, they'd gone and spent it away. But they were the ones that removed it, so they were the ones with the curse. Yeah. So you guys did need my skeletons to do all the dirty work. Bootstraps, bootstraps. There are things that just bite me undead in the way that go in there and get bonuses on. <laughs> it, it assumes that they're allied to the Mummy Lord, but <laughs> no, it doesn't specify. I bet we're facing a Mummy Lord. I mean, that's literally what the, the the bean says. Yeah, but I can't. I don't know that. I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> and I know he does. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what a Mummy Lord stats are. Yeah, uh, I, I haven't read them either. Yeah, but I imagine they can't be very high this, since the bag of beans is only very rare. Well, the last thing popped up a CR20 creature, but that was DM choice. Yeah. If you leave him be, I might be able to control him. Okay. To be fair, to DM be choice fair, was yeah. larger creature. It had no references to what CR the creature would be. It was referencing what size it could be. Alright, <laughs> All right. now we're going to go ahead and start taking apart the sarcophagi. Who touches the sarcophagi? I do. Okay. Push it open. So, as you put your hand on it, I was going to kick it open. Dust, okay. As you, yeah, I know it doesn't matter. Okay, well, there's no kicking. Uh, I mean, you kick it, and like it is solid down to the ground. In oh, the there's stone. not a lid? Yeah. Well, there's I mean, no lid to it? There's no evidence. It's lidless? It's not evident where the lid begins and oh, ends. Then I would totally start hitting it with my axe. Okay. It doesn't change anything. Yeah. Point being, once contact is made, you can tell where the lid is, as that's where the dust... Decompress this from. And you need to make a con save. Con! Also, is anyone else within five feet of it? No, yep, 25 feet of the thing. And Are you still where your where your guy is? Oh, no, I was on the floor. Okay. So I'll be over there. Right next to it? Is that where it is? <laughs> yeah, he is in the middle of the room where it is, yes. Oh, yeah. No. I beg Jimmy. Okay. I, I just need to tell him never be the first one to touch one stuff. <laughs> just, you know. Pro adventuring tip there. That pro adventuring tip might have helped, you know, before we started touching all this mummy stuff. I didn't touch it first. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I specifically didn't touch it first. That's the true question is it it has layer ashes, but does it have legendary resistances? Probably. 
Basically, any bow flare actions get legendaries. 27. You are not affected by the poison. The poison versus mummy curse? No? No, it's probably just a trap. That's just a trap. That's that's just the gas that releases when <laughs> it's been tampered with. Yeah, didn't you see that movie? Got the face melting in sand? Again, assume that was, you know, curse, but... Okay. <laughs> That movie was real. Curses aren't real. I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't see him yet. Where's that next one? Do you do anything, Eric? Is no. it open? No. Uh, no. What about you, Jimmy? No, I'm waiting for Paladin to kick it open. Let's uh, is it, let's call this a new fight. Let's do let's do a new round of initiative. I'm going back to my tunnel. Uh, seventeen. Which is not technically inside the pyramid. So if this place starts shooting traps and gases, I'll be outside. That well, statue is right about you. There's a statue above me? And 12. I do have that. I look. Something up real quick. This is in the Sweet to me. You over there writing still? Who, me? <laughs> no, him. <laughs> yep, and <clears throat> tell me when uh, a day and a half has passed. Never. Okay, so we're going to go there. Uh, All right, so it does that. Uh, and then we're back to Cowden. And I still don't see anything inside the. Uh, I mean, it's it's still the wind is still on. Uh, kick it off. Make a dexterity check. Athletics or acrobatics? No, it doesn't like one of those old ones. It's got to go up and over. Yeah, it's like like the wind, like the actual separation of it is like halfway down. Of the actual slide, it's gotta go up. Yeah, it's not like push off. It's like lift this thing up and over. We're just all you, you, saw you got a good eight moves. inches of lift before this lid is coming off. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll just lift it off then. Flip the lid. <laughs> then that would be a strength check. <laughs> Do I? Am I at a disadvantage for those? It's not no, safe. Uh, it's not safe. So. Uh, 18. Uh, can I use athletics? No. Why not? Because it's not being athletic, it's just trying to be strong. I don't know what you think athletics is. Uh, it has some sort of skill to it. Yeah, yeah. it's deadlifting. No. But yeah, I mean, you're... 18. Still. Yeah, it's a, you don't get it off, but you're definitely able to start making progress. You, you have defined the separation... Anything else? Or just continue? Yeah. I don't have yeah, any. I don't know. I you can't do a bonus things. action. But I'm not going to use my bonus action to. I don't know what, it, what you have. Okay. I'm not going to action surge to lift the lid. 
Especially when that deadbeat mummy in there isn't even helping. <laughs> <laughs> he just opened it up and he's dead. <laughs> mummy knows not to play with us. He's like, shh, I'm sleeping. And as he starts lifting it, this sand, you know, starts spinning and pouring around the sarcophagus. And whirling its way over to the pair of you. Oh, man. I'm not on the floor. Hmm? I'm in my tunnel. Yeah, well, he's on the outside. <laughs> like, out here? Yeah, I mean, he... he, he well, yeah, he's like in the tunnel, whatever he is. He's, he's basically, he, he goes back behind you. Oh, okay. The tunnel's <laughs> only five foot wide, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um. Is that a duck? No, nah, it is a mummy. Sure, it's not a duck. I think it's he's mummy. just jerky face. Yeah. Looks like a duck bill. <clears throat> yeah, let's see that. I must die. I can be taken to the queen. Who can bring me back as a drop? You need a wisdom save as it glares you down. It's behind me. I can't see it. Too bad, save. <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap, tap. I am not turning around. <laughs> Leads over. <laughs> and you're like, I'm He's glaring at you. Adventure. You don't have to see it. It's one creature it can see. So you don't know why you're making the wisdom save. Yet. Five. Uh, that's going to be a fail. Uh, and otherwise, it would have been ten. Without disadvantage. Which probably also would fail. So you are frightened and paralyzed. No, not a paralyzer. So Does paralyzed fall prone? Without it. No. So you can't move and you can't move closer to him. Because I know it drops stuff. Incapacitated. Uh, can't take actions or reactions. Uh, fails strength and dex saves. Attack right, rolls against the have advantage. And, and any crit. attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Auto credits. And then we'll begin. Okay. Uh. And this is until the mummy's next turn, by the way. So then it will also attack you with its rotting fist. I think it hits me. So it hits you, so it crits you. Uh, so 3d6. Twenty two bludgeoning and Ooh, that's worse. Still crit. So fifty-three necrotic damage, and you must and you need a con save, which I don't believe is one you automatically fail. Strength and dice. Yeah, so you just have disadvantage on that save. <laughs> well, I wasn't with him for the morning, so I don't have ten HP. I would have done it while we were walking out into the thing. You don't have to uh, be in one spot. Uh, <laughs> what was it, con save? You said. Mm-hmm. It'd be much simpler if I was just dead. Five. Uh, Need I roll lower? And you are cursed with mummy rot. Uh, you can't regain hit points, and your hit points maximum uh, will reduce as time goes by. Mm. 
There you go. It's Eric and Jimmy's turn. I don't have turns. <laughs> oh no! Eric! Step back. Ew, screw you, guy! <laughs> Bonus action, Hexblade, Hex. I'm thinking the Chronic won't do all much damage to him. No. Screw you, guy! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> He's definitely. This is definitely a bad guy to fight. Let's see how quickly this goes. Okay, so what are my actual pluses in this? Dex. Yes. So plus eight. What you using the shotgun thing? Mm-hmm. Don't you have to roll each individually? Yes. So it's twenty. Yeah, twenty. Hit. Eighteen. Hit. Uh, more. More. Uh, yes. Or, or tape. Yeah. This. This. Miss. Uh, plus eight. Fourteen. Miss. Hit. Five hits and five misses? Yeah. Okay. Base damage is... Nine, so nine times five. Forty five. Forty five. Forty five. Right. Yeah, nice five for that. So I promise you he's he was gonna be really dangerous each turn and between all the turns he was gonna be bad. So one Ten. Ten. Screw you, I can math! <laughs> fifteen, so fifteen plus forty. Uh, fifty-five. Well, uh, it's plus forty-five. No, no, uh, I was including a stupid thing. So oh. it's six plus two, so eight, and then the die rolls. Yes. So fifty-five? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's still up. That yeah. wouldn't even kill me. I mean, like, right now? I would do it right now. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all I have for Doesn't the answer. Doesn't take necrotic damage too from the curse thing? No, that, that's a different... That's Hex. This is my Hex Blade curse, which gave me my Does proficiency. Does that weapon count as magical, by the way? No. That's not bad at all. Hmm. I, I just thought of it that. I was like... <laughs> I, I should have just booped him. If I booped him, he probably would have just died. But yes, there you go. You, you can have another turn. Uh, so in between you and Eric, uh, it will, oh yeah, legendary actions. Mm -hmm. Here. There you go. Whirlwind its way down to you. After Eric, uh, it will. Quick question. Uh, attack you. Does 20 hit? Yes. Shield? Yes, a shield. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, I still have those in my bard slots. I can just do that still. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just like, this is really bad, I don't want to get hit. <laughs> Well, I mean, we see what happens when you get hit. Hitting your, he getting hit's great. Adam, mm -hmm. is uh, that supposed to be zero zero? Like that? Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Okay. It means I can't record anymore. It's, it's full. <laughs> okay. Count. It didn't make me run after it, no. which is very kind of it. I'm gonna start hitting it. I don't know when I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna start blasting. Uh, 19? Hit. Do I need to separate fire from not fire? It's a m magical weapon? Yes. I didn't know. Uh, in fact, yes, actually you do. But for your benefit. Oh, okay. It's weak to fire. Okay, 9 fire. Uh, 10 regular. 
and more than I rolled last time. I rolled a 15, so I don't know. Plus okay, 5 fire, 14 regular, and a uh, higher number still. Uh, 11 fire, 13 regular, and I'm going to action search. Give me a second. There's finally a opponent I think it's worthwhile to action search. <laughs> I don't think you do. Is he dead? Yeah. <laughs> he is definitively like a glass cannon. <laughs> He's got all this stuff he can do and less, less hit points than this guy's got. <laughs> so, yeah. Didn't use this well. I'll go to... Eric and uh, remove curse. Okay. Um, what does remove curse do? It removes curses. At your touch, all curses affect all curses. Ones. Okay, both of your curses are removed. Oh, no longer makes a jinx between like super magical curses. Mm-hmm. Remove curse spell. No way, remove man. curse spell. Yeah, both of those curses that you have on you are remove curse spell removed. It would have to have like a special notation saying this yeah. could only be removed by Witcher. Yeah, by but Witcher old Mummy Rot was more powerful. He had to have like break enchantment or something. It was super. Okay, yeah, so I go anymore. back and start opening up the sarcophagi again. Good work, yeah. everybody. Team effort. Yeah. Also, I put you with the sword using one of its charges. Regain mm-hmm. a D8 plus, I think, six. Or yeah. five um, max. Here. Inside are uh, four golden jars uh, adorned with uh, draconic heads. Uh, And otherwise, it is just a stone empty basin in there. Um, Okay, start breaking the stone to pull the gold off. Well, the gold's on the top. As then we just the pull. bottom part is just the stone, the same as the actual. Part. Okay, so I pulled off the whole gold piece. Yeah. Okay, gold piece into the hole. Jars look to be ceramic. Gently into the hole. Gently into the hole. Uh, did Mister Mummy have anything on him? Like necklaces or anything? Um. <sighs> yeah, I mean he has uh, a Yankees baseball what is, cap. What is now a tattering of cloth, of cloth and a gold band, and uh, you know, basically the coatings that are just disintegrating as Pop they're exposed the to the air. Throw in there, yeah. <laughs> basically, the gold band that held the special <laughs> adorned pot. But yeah, you just noticing like whatever the fabric is that they used for all of this, like as it is exposed to the air here, it is just starting to disintegrate so fast. <laughs> right, so it is so largely just corpse. Back out the yeah. holes in? Well, you know, we were missing, we were losing, lacking money. So, this is a good, this is a good pickup. No <laughs> iron coins? What a shame. We were low on money. No, not not from the culture that's from no. We start heading towards the mushrooms again. Well, good adventure, everybody. <laughs> I finally get... found something worthy of uh, <laughs> double hitting, and... You didn't need to. I didn't need to. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that absolutely would have been, like, like, you know, even if you would have been this close, it would have been worth it just to keep it from getting even one more attack. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying we faced two combats and I didn't even get attacked. No, no, both the combats went after Eric. Yeah. Yeah. He, it's he, almost he, like he, he started him. this. <laughs> he it's almost him. like it was all his fault. <laughs> He was like, hey, fate, let's... <laughs> you think hey, the guy fate. flipping ah. the thing off. Oh, did you want to go into the opening? It just looks like stone on the other end, but you can go walk in there. No. Yeah, we'd go back out our hole. We robbed this place already. <laughs> We're good. That's an adventure for someone else. <laughs> and you know what the greatest thing right here is? It's gonna... This hole, this past wall, disappears after a short period of yeah. time. Oh, yeah. In which case, there was just a pyramid here. That that someone's going so to much hell is going to be gone through to get no into, more. and there is nothing inside. Because <laughs> we rob everything. Do, of do you leave the corpse in? What, the mummy? The mummy corpse? Yeah. Why would I take it out? Of note, 
Uh, you will find, after I think it's 48 hours, that if you still have the jars in your possession, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> there is still an encounter waiting in there. <laughs> yes, I put uh, the mummy back in Wait, the Wait, the mummy lord's also a lich? Oh, yeah. he's a mummy. Yeah. Put him back in his box, leave a note. <laughs> what can you put on your note? And you just sort of pin it to the bone yeah. structure? The true reward is the adventure you experience. Air Press Rada, fake yes. adventure. <laughs> yes, the true adventure is the experience that you find in life. So, and the and real you know treasure is the Eric has been going around. Well, apparently he travels in time, and I found his final rest, final resting place. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> and, 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 the, and, and the, the adventure that you have been on and the friends that you have made is your truest reward. I absolutely travel time. <laughs> this is clearly your final resting place. That's you. I'm a fear of mummy. You lost the note. That's why I hit myself first. No, the best part is is that when what we didn't what was flaking away was a piece of paper. The same note. (laughs) (laughs) Some fly zone. I don't know how long the travel uh, takes to get there, but I'm going to say right around a day and a half. (laughs) So we can sell the Canopic jars? Because they disappeared in 48 hours. A day and a half, we still have them. You did say 48 (laughs) hours. I said like. You want the actual number, then I have to look up the actual number. Well, you can either just decide whether we. Twenty-four have hours. They're gone. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that? Because I didn't want to look it up. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that? Then? You didn't want to look it up. What your response so, is? I don't feel like looking it up, so they're just gone. Go back for round two. <laughs> just beat the mummy up every day. <laughs> Use them as a training ground. <laughs> We get experience each time we do this, right? No, he's been defeated. Oh, okay. But so, did we get experience for two encounters? Probably. To what? Like, what was the CR on the mummy? Fifteen. Oh, that's not bad. I Bulls guess low health made it. Yeah, the bowl was probably more like ten or twelve. Oh uh, no, it's not five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet is just a pushover. That's why I'm thinking it was an animal. Yeah, I didn't actually consider that an encounter. I forgot about that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's the second encounter that you get experience for, though. Sorry, that other one. What, what other one? We <laughs> stopped that on one. Was that stats didn't count? The well, there's no encounter. Sorry, you, you won too hard. <laughs> yeah, remember my old rule about uh, the bot. You can't beat the boss in the first turn. Yeah. I mean, do you realize I I offered that there were more toads. You could have had it. I could have just pulled another one right back out. <laughs> Yeah, but he blew him up. I know. You decided you didn't want the encounter. <laughs> so, no, I, I let fair. you have it. You used Kiss Slay Living. He died. <laughs> I don't care if you killed the boss. That was really funny. Because <laughs> I don't know. What if you if you kept the two, the same one yeah. and I banished four more of them? <laughs> or as they cannot physically make the save? No. The best part is it's an Arthur Dent kind of situation where. Uh, it's the same one each time. It's the same one. <laughs> You've just been ruining his life. Like, literally, like, over... <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Next time he comes back, he has a ready to action. <laughs> <laughs> No, the best part is that next time he's summoned, he just sits down pouting. I'm not even going to bother. I think you're really intimidating <laughs> for people who aren't me. <laughs> Counter spell? <laughs> No, yeah. oh, that, that's one of the things that makes me fear Bob the most is that he has access to Counterspell. And oh, no, no, no reason not I to use it. To, whatever, you talking to the demon. No, oh, yes. <laughs> so, you finish your yeah. spell writing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after a day and a half, I finish up my spell writing, and then I will cast Sending in order to speak with Kathra. Who's Kathra? Kathra is the... Uh, <laughs> And she's the Archmage of the Mages Guild in Narmixel. Uh, have you even... You only know her by name, right? No. Nope. I was going to say, I don't feel like I... No, no, she had the she, interview with yeah, him. Yeah, she did my Orion thing. Oh, she was that one. Okay. Yeah. I was asking, I was because I, I know you got like some information on one in the other place. So. No, nope, I've actually met her because she did yeah, my she's Orion the one that, Okay, so she's just the one of the other Dwarven City. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Because... Yeah, I send her a message and I'm How dare you question the notice? <laughs> uh, and I ask her, uh, uh, I'm, uh, 
I'm in preparation right now. Uh, do you have access to the mind blank spell or information on where I could locate a elder red a uh, gold dragon? Well, willing those are two really desperate things. <laughs> <laughs> willing to trade. This is the weirdest Craigslist ad I've ever answered. <laughs> 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 this is what you get when you start listening to Tradio. I, I, I want 89 Buick. I have two washing machines to trade for it. <laughs> Why'd you wash it? Because that might have a washer and dryer set. Nope, two washing machines. <laughs> you know, I didn't even notice that that's what you said, but that is weird. <laughs> My mind gets an eighth level abjuration Can well, I'm guessing you just don't feel like casting it with wish. Yeah. <laughs> well, like a legal or a saber. I'm just saying, we might be able to make this happen. We have a tome containing mind blank. I do not know a gold dragon. Okay. <laughs> Teleport circle. Oh wait, I can just cast mm -hmm. regular teleport. I mean, where where are you going? I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to Narmixel's uh, Mage's Guild then. You're currently in the other Mage's Guild that has a set circle. Yeah. You still have you to spend money on those. Yeah, but if I cast teleport then I don't have to spend material components. Yeah, you can just go through the set circle to another oh, set circle. Oh, they have like a open connection? Yeah, because between the actual mages guild ones, yeah. Okay. Then <laughs> if I you're just going between the different you know, mages guilds, then yeah. Okay. Those are both. Yeah, if they have an open portal waiting for me to actually use, yeah. then I'll just do that. <laughs> okay, so then I just go ahead and step on over to Narmixel from Kbrick's name. Also love the text, hey, you able to talk now? <laughs> okay. Before showing up. As a fifth level spell slot. <laughs> it's third level. Third? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's second third. Oh, you get there. Okay. We'll go ahead and head on over uh, S, whatever. Yeah, I, I know where her office is, but I'm just asking if anyone knows where Kaffer is at the moment. Yeah. She, she's, uh, she's in a meeting. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait patiently. Probably takes another half hour. Just sort of people chattering and Talking about things. Yeah. yeah. When some people, when a, a couple of the dwarves leave from her office. Well, while I'm chit chatting with people, I bring up uh, Penelope's pen and say that I'm going to try to figure out a way to mass produce these for us. Then it wouldn't hurt. No one, no one would be upset by that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, then I go and meet with Catherine. By the way, is this another eight hours that. He yeah. said, I don't know how much time it's going to take you to get to Mushroom City, but it's going to be a day and a half before you go and spend another eight hours copying the spells. Yep. You know what? <laughs> At the, the goal is for him to get to do something. If this is what he chooses to do, then that's fine. You guys have your adventure, and he's writing things, but as long as that's what he wants. I do believe he's finally got to play the wizard he's wanted to. Yeah, I, I, I've kind of tried to work on that. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, I added a Mage's Guild option halfway through the campaign as I started. <laughs> it's like, no, this is what he needs. This is, this is, he's finally going to get to the level he has always wanted. Yep. Let's let him have the character that... <laughs> so yeah, I go ahead and talk to her asking yeah. what, the, what I could provide in order to... Because um, I can tell her what's going on. I mean, she, I talked to Burn about it. Yeah. She's had some basic notes of just general the idea of there's some sort of war that you're going down with and something about dealing with devils. <laughs> that was something that I had to do that was kind of ancillary. but it, it, it I, I made a god of, of devils. It, it ancillary to the thing. He said that. I, mean, it's like, this was I feel like you were a little more wise about that part. I think that was just Eric that was telling everyone yeah. <laughs> and their mother. <laughs> everyone he could find. Hey, I made the de devil god! You know. As, as you, you do. do. <laughs> you don't do that. I, you never I, did. I suggest you do. It's great yeah, fun. 
I, I got a glowy eye. I, I was an observer to the situation, not a participant. I claim full and total responsibility. <laughs> you uh, you literally went and asked after. for some sort of sign of this devil god placed upon him. <laughs> Can I get a proof that I did this? Next. <laughs> sure. It was I will set one of your eyes aflame. Next. By the let's way, go, I'm let's still go, chaotic good. Let's go visit heaven. <laughs> he wasn't at the time. Yes. <laughs> Temperature. That camera that's not working is hot now. <laughs> still on. Still so hot right now. So hot right now. So hot Hansel? right now. Hansel? Yes. <laughs> Hansel. He's so hot right now. Hansel. Um, I mean, do you offer something specific? Do you, what are you... Oh, what would she like? What do you know around that? What other a little spell you got to hand out? Maze, Antipathy, Sympathy, Illusionary Dragon, which is from Xanthar's. Uh, that one she will have. She'll trade for that. Okay. And she will also spend her eight hours copying while you... <laughs> uh, just looking over each other's books. Wait, do you mean her 16? She does not have a pen. Of course she does. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like, if we both got pens... In fact, like, while you were talking, there are a couple other people in the place that have the pens. Yeah. They're not mass-produced. But she has been working on them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, the, the, these we need to get out into people's hands. It's basically been her, like, like you have randomly got, hey, let's bulk produce t- tuning forks to hell. Yep. She's been <laughs> doing something that people actually want. I provided material components. You've for provided a lot of stuff. Regardless of how much of it they don't want, it's just <laughs> tons of stuff. Look at research! <laughs> No, no one likes your research, yeah, but, uh, but, crazy man. Uh, I got uh, people material components for Morning Penance Mansion. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> there are there are some good things in there. Others are like here are a bunch of tuning forks to help. These are yeah. things that nobody have, else has to do now. We have to lock these away so no one <laughs> stumbles upon this. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was sad. You you never did get a tuning fork to the astral plane. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did. We were there. Yeah, yeah. that was like. Step one. Yeah, that was one of the first things that I got, yeah. and I know how to make more of them. Didn't give them any of those, though. <laughs> but here, I have all the hell ones. I could. Yeah. I could have just as He didn't have as much of a ma- material resource for that. Yeah. Uh, whereas the stuff for hell, there was plenty of opportunity to get things for. That it, because it was all in hell, whereas Astral Plane didn't have like a bunch of stuff laying about for yeah. me to make it. Yeah. But, yeah. And <laughs> much of the stuff that's floating in there is from other places, so yeah, it's actually quite difficult to find the materials. Uh, so the rest of you arrive uh, at the sort of the little tribal village that outlines the square city. Wave of the little tribes people keep walking through their thing. Mm-hmm. Give you kind of a curious look as you go. Mm-hmm. Go back to the sovereign's <laughs> office. Make an appointment. <laughs> yes. It's right you do. <laughs> he can see you now. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Almost like he can always see you now. He's not really busy. You just have to have an appointment. It's the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Lawful society. <laughs> we said you up make an appointment? Busy. <laughs> like, yes. Go, go talk to Mr. Mushroom. Tell him. We are preparing for war against the evil and enslaving things. Here's a mind stone to help you set up war. You said you may be interested for a lawful war. <laughs> and what do we know of the, the terms of this? The terms of the war? Uh, total. Not total. We're not slaughtering the slaves. Uh, Say the, the terms of the war are not freeing the slaves. I mean, from their perspective, attack. we are. From that perspective, we're freeing the slaves, which is denying them the asset. So it's technically an assault on their infrastructure, which is an action of total war. I'm gonna have to go with that counts as total war. Yeah, we're, we're directly attacking their infrastructure and civilian populace, not in a murder way, but still doing it. Yes, total war while freeing the slaves. Uh, we suggest surprise attack. Mm-hmm. Can't can you just phrase it as a purge of all aberrations? Are all aberrations bad? 
we, we were pretty cool I, with the fish lady. I, yeah. I can't think of any good ones. And it's like depends on. Well, lady in the lake was. wasn't bad. She That's just had a hard on for cool. killing gods. She was pretty cool. Which I assume she failed at. <laughs> I imagine somebody I told that I made a god to would mention one just died. Well, they keep saying two gods before that died. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, but yes. I, I charismatically line out the war plan as I know it and say, here's a stone. He outlines, it with, a, outlines it with a lot of color. <laughs> Very charismatic. No, no, it's only three. That's pretty low. No, mm. it's fine. Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. So, Behold his expertise. My six mm-hmm. plus six plus six. <laughs> he said it so earnestly, even though he looks like a bumbling idiot. It's just he's so earnest. Well, the cause seems virtuous. I do believe we can only give a limited resource. Uh, perhaps some of the outer tribes would be best suited of that sort of assault. Do we know when it's coming? No, that, that is why we're going to give you this mind stone for clear communications and cooperation. It's like two weeks. We don't know that. You just keep saying that to random people. <laughs> it's going to let, me put, let me rephrase. The war is starting in two weeks. One way or the other. I am starting a war in two weeks. <laughs> I'm going to need longer than that because I have equipment working. Well, that's when we're going to leave. To go to war. I'm not leaving in two weeks. Like I, I'm working on equipment. I can't leave. Well, the idea of you're going to get your equipment before the war. <laughs> it's like, no, you spent all this money. You're not getting that before the campaign ends. The campaign ends on you getting equipment. I mean, with how much you chose to get. <laughs> you, do you remember how long it takes to craft things in 5th edition? Yeah, we were going to stand there for a couple months. Yeah, or years. Well, I, I think this, and given that we're in mind space spores, like... The outer ring of guys aren't actually slaves, right? They're just sort of stupid comparatively. They're not the brightest. But they have free will, right? Well, yes. You know, that's they all. Knock into the city. Yeah, no, 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 that, <laughs> that's fine. They're a lower caste. I'm cool with that, but they're not slaves. They're <laughs> uh, are we, uh. Being incredibly, uh... <laughs> hypocritical? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Sending slaves off to free slaves? <laughs> Perhaps, therefore, this would be better trusted to their chief. They have a chief? <laughs> but of course. Yeah. Any word on how to find their chief? Or just go yell at them until they bring me forth a chief? Well... Yelling seems a little crass. Mm. Uh, Crass always sounds like a good thing to me. I know it's not, but it always sounds like one. Simply ask them in their native tongue. Okay. Just agree. Okay. Um, what am I going to say no to the psychic mushroom? <laughs> if that's how it's done, that's how it's done. They asked for the in the native tongue. Is the issue? Uh, he just has to spore up. Yeah, you need the mind talk. I think that's bad spores. I mean, you currently have those spores. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Spores and chip. Eh. I am very funny. You're a fun guy. Yeah, basically you have to uh, not only sport, but you have to get one of them sport as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Am I outdoors? You're Is the underground outdoors? For what purpose? Control weather. Probably not. Damn. I realize with Wish I do have control weather as a storm sorcerer. Now I'm almost scared to use it to give myself bonuses. <laughs> almost. 
I can cast Control Weather. That's on the 8th level. What does it do? Yeah, what it says on the 10. <laughs> yeah, I know, but what would it do for you specifically? As a I can make it rain. Make it windy that's, and rain. Can that's it? Bonuses. I can make it windy and rain. I do not get bonuses in wind or rain. No. Then why would you do it? He's a storm sorcerer. Because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> to mess up the people stay up top. Do, do I need to emphasize the C on my alignment chart? I mean, so yeah, so you've been doing a poor job of it, it so far. So it'd be nice if you did something that would make it, it you know, if you seem chaotic. I, I think the sovereign <laughs> and, <laughs> and go out towards the edge, looking around to see if I could see. I believe it's a truth bringer. My God, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but they're the ones that. They're higher than the normal mycelia. And they're the ones they told us, the outside guys told us about, that they're true speakers or something. I think I've massively undervalued the power of any spell, 8th level and lower. I d I'm just thinking about it. I can do any spell once a day. Like, even the really silly ones yeah. that I would never cast otherwise, because yeah. I'm a sorcerer. Well, I mean, just random personal spores. Yeah, eighth level spell. But, yeah, pretty much all of them have at least some level of spores. Even the kids can do it a few times a day. Yes. <laughs> okay. I go to the edge. Motion to any of my cilia. Come here and spore me. Then I think I stand here and spore one of these guys so I can ask them to go get their chief. Please. Please. Persuasion check. One of these guys? You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Given what the result was before, the fact that your number goal is lower now, you're good. <laughs> uh, Did I have to roll and lose this a faction? Uh, I mean, you still got one Heart. of the groups from here. No. <laughs> but yeah, it was a 20 and 30, so... <laughs> it's like, you got the lesser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, it is easy enough to find their chief. They will... They they will gladly go fetch them, mm -hmm. fetch them for you. <laughs> and he'll wait on the edge for you to find someone else to come, <laughs> allow him to communicate, or perhaps communicate through the one that you've already... Because <laughs> they have a... kind of language between each other. God dang it, Beaker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not unbeaker looking. Yeah. Well, well, I try to convince Chief here. He totally wants to go to war. Great, awesome. What are you convincing him? That he's a PE teacher. <laughs> but we're helping people. Helping people's good. We're going to go help people and free slaves. And the sovereign said that's okay to go do that. Sovereign said that's what he's doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he offered their 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 forces. <laughs> he doesn't get a say. <laughs> you know that, that, that's why I was asking. Are they're not slaves. Don't worry about it. Okay, you can ask them too. They're not. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have no concept for it even. Oh, sweet. Well, <laughs> here's your milestone. Follow what it says. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Apparently you can use the sequester spell as a giant alarm bell. You can hide something with it and then make the term that when it, it comes up when something happens, like the Tarask Awakening, which makes it an ultimate divination tool. <laughs> Just sit in your house going, huh, that coin's back. God damn it, he's up. <laughs> Whenever my, my, my rival is ripe for the plucking. <laughs> ah, it's back. Uh, Resurrection is wishable. Oh, yeah. So is reverse gravity and tsunami. Revivify? There is no revivify. Uh, uh, that's their level. Oh, not revivify. Uh, so so you yes, you could. You could. A <laughs> tsunami is a three hundred foot wa long wall of water that's three hundred feet high and fifty feet thick. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, no, but you could probably dodge it with the deck The, save, the right? cool thing about using Wish to do Resurrection is in combat, no material component. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you! Now! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, not, uh, 
resurrection, but yeah, reincarnate. <laughs> Roll some dice, Eric. That's true. Better read that to make sure it didn't say wizard spells. No, we don't have wizard spells anymore. What do you mean you don't have wizard well, spells anymore? There are stuff that, on that, the wizard list. That is list. not how spells are broken up anymore. Wish, wizard, sorcerer, druid, bard. No, no. Wish says any spell, yeah. any level or lower, not yeah. any wizard spell. It might say from your list. But it doesn't. Yeah. But it doesn't. Yes. It's the reason we don't have Miracle anymore. They fill the same slot. <laughs> Except for your, you know, your actual cleric thing. The, and clerics don't get wish, except for the one subclass can get it. Yeah. yeah. The ones that are wizards? <laughs> yeah, the ones that are wizards, basically. You're a wizard. So yeah, you spend a couple hours there. Break off the mind stone. Here you go. Mind stone to pygmy mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just assumed you've written it down already. But. <laughs> No, you didn't assume that I had written it down already. That's because if you had assumed that, you wouldn't have said it. I assume that now. <laughs> now you know that now. Ass oh. out of me. <laughs> There's no safe for maze. No. Nope. You make an AF out of your fill. They ended a safe to try and get out of it. Then well, they, no, they get you go in, into the maze. They get an intelligence ability check to get out of the maze. No, I think I got dropped into one of those once and just aced my way out of it immediately. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why it's like, ah, legendary resistance. That's nice. <laughs> Go be in a maze. Are you Go not... be legendary in an extra point of space. <laughs> are, are you not the Minotaur of Minos? <laughs> Go be in a maze. You know, I always thought that it was dumb that Minotaurs get, like, they're immune to maze. It totally worked. Why would they be immune? <laughs> yes, that maze totally kept that Minotaur in. <laughs> it worked. He didn't well, get out. The guy went in to murder him. It, it took some golden thread to get out. Because the maze was cheating. Its walls moved. <laughs> but uh, also the fact that that guy is not the same mentor as the you know playable race or even the monstrous creature. <laughs> I mean, do you guys? You just well, we're in the veggie pygmies? No, yeah, well, we head on back to the elf town so we can start going through the dwarven town. Hold on, mind still. Can you pick us up to the dwarven gold town? Are you talking about sending stone? Yeah. Well, to you. <laughs> uh, it's like busy writing right now. Go to a place where I can pick you up. Okay, we'll, we'll head to that one guy's house. Well, yeah, it was ascending, so... <laughs> well, I, I, you'll just have to guess where we're at till Is tomorrow. Is there more range on teleport? Hmm? I can cast teleport. Can't you teleport all three of us? I can teleport up to eight creatures. Where are we going? Well, you already wished today. No, I haven't. Yeah, I wished a day and a half ago. Oh. <laughs> Okay, to the Golden Dwarven City. I was getting ready to just use Sequester to drop like a pile of gold coins and somebody would find if they looked in that specific spot. <laughs> because why not? Okay. This is an excellent use of a 7th level spell and a ninth level spell. <laughs> if you look in this specific spot, bag of coins. It, you should make you, it You would magic up a bag of coins. You would just take a bag of your own coins. And random loot for adventure. And it's gone. <laughs> it's immune to divination, it's invisible, it's gone. I Unless feel like right here. I feel like it would be like an uh, adventure in, def in desperate need of an out, and you just like put a magical wand of fireball. <laughs> Bam. Like an adventure in desperate need of explosion. Wand of fireball. Yeah, it's wand of fireball. You can only find it if you're running from the police. <laughs> yeah, it's a do sex mock, you know? You're <laughs> terrible! You're <laughs> terrible! <laughs> At least you look right here. Wanda Fireball. Da ha 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 ha. Terrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Wanda Fireball, but only if yeah. you're a poor this, moral this is, fiber. This is great. This is great. <laughs> As you just spend the rest of the days setting up How have I been to plot the Dwarven place before? Yeah, you have been. It was where fancy How parties. How am I with it? That's what I'm looking at. That's where you beat up the sharks. Of at least no, 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 no. Other so one. casually. 
definitely seen casually. Yeah. How, how good can you remember that balcony with the fancy hats and the mugs? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Eric, you ended up getting your mug from there. You have an object from that location. Would that count as an associated object? Does it define associated object? No. I mean, it's just something that you got from that town, so... I see where it does. <laughs> I was reading it. Uh, it means your position object taken from the desired destination within the last six months... No, we'll still say it's, it's, it should be within that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we can teleport that way. So you all end up in a, uh, was it a metal workers shop? <laughs> <laughs> On target. <laughs> Where that had been made. <laughs> well. Hello. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. What time is I recall it? you. What time yeah, is it? It's an excellent time. mug. Very nice. Tip my hat. Um, Good seeing you. Yes. Go out the door. <laughs> um. <laughs> how may I help you? Just passing through. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> sir? 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 Paladin. Um. May, may I uh, assist you with anything? You're now a metal worker's shop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a forge? <laughs> it's right over there. <laughs> Walk over to the forge, start working on my axe, and it's now dull. Uh, gold. <laughs> just throw gold. <laughs> just, just, he just sort of admires you. <laughs> Just be like, uh, just be like, fifteen gold. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't ask any questions. <laughs> Watch as you work. It's because he yeah. works the bellows for you. <laughs> it's because he has advantage on charisma saves or charisma ah. interactions with dwarves. I do have advantage on charisma interactions with dwarves. I totally forgot about it. Very good. Now the party's all in the same place. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, hey, great. Well, I hope you find out before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't teleport again. And I can't send again. <laughs> yeah. He is in the... He just killed... I have a stone of sending. Yeah. Yeah. To the other <laughs> dwarf. <laughs> no, we can send it. No, 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 it, it goes, goes to, to your boss. dwarf. It goes to your boss who you gave the other stone to. You jerk. <laughs> I honestly think we're just working together at this point. <laughs> what? It makes perfect sense for my crazy, crazy character. Yeah, you'd be crazy. I'm just saying, you told that, me... That dwarf is very accepting of his crazy. Though. Yeah, no, he's, he's... You know, maybe next time I make a character based solely on stats that's highly morally and mentally flexible, you just I'll let me have one. it without criticizing. I'll miss this one. <laughs> I'll miss it, I promise you. It's, it's hard as you want to it. I love that you're... Because he's yeah. nuttier than squirrel food. <laughs> <laughs> so... Head down the street to the end of the street in the palace and try to stop a meeting. I'm resharpening my axe. Yay. I really need to find a way to get more uses you of my You go weapon. try to set up a meeting? Uh, if I feel that the name Eric will carry me further, I am setting up a meeting on behalf of the famed adventurer Eric Rasprauda. He's okay, Splash Dragon Slayer. Slayer. <laughs> Dragon Slayer, Quadborn, Deathless, the Far Traveler. Far Traveler will work. <laughs> the Plane Walker. Yeah, the Plane's Walker. Just keep throwing titles on there. <laughs> so as you talk to the guard that doesn't let you up the stairs... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what you're talking about. You have seen the full load. Yeah, because you got arrested in this town. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not going in on my own. Oh, well, me and my detective friend. Where are you? Well, I mean, what are we doing in the poor town? Um, we're recruiting more armies. So we're trying to get a thing with the king or whatever leader they <laughs> have here. <laughs> we're collecting I stamps. I don't have a drinking stand. party. <laughs> <laughs> You know he has the right answer. Oh, yeah. 
What? What connection do you have to any king here? Well, I, I, you were tried. Yeah, but I don't think that's a good foot in the door. Hey, I was once, you know, thus tried right. for murder. <laughs> thus, I don't get why you're like, let's try and go <laughs> rub elbows with this guy that I have no connection with other than a bad connection with. <laughs> Again, I just assume people make appointments with leaders of cities. No, leaders not... make appointments with leaders yeah, of cities. Yeah, Nick, they're not senators. You can't just go talk to them. <laughs> yeah. But my congressman always has an open door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the king doesn't. <laughs> well, you know, the congressman is a bit of a frozen fan because love is an open door. Mm-hmm. Except I didn't like that part because he was clearly the bad guy. He lied. Hey! Yeah, I'm back. We thought you'd gone off and died with all the other ones. Oh no, did they die? You oh, know they yes. did. <laughs> Terrible thing. <laughs> Turns out our buddy's brain been sapped away. Oh yeah, those guys. I'm going to fight those guys soon. The brain eating ones? They're like a whole right? na- there's like a whole nation of them. Yeah, they're deeper down. It's terrible things. Terrible tragedy, I think. The under underdark. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Devastating they all decided to go. Yes, we're Left families we're, and children behind. We're putting together uh, an armed force to wage war on these foul creatures. That's right you should. And a good friend fell victim to them. And many, you know, seven folk you know. Yeah. Tragedy. Yeah. So they were good laborers. Tragedy. <laughs> Very sad for them. I mean, good. Help. We did have pensions to pay with. Good helps hard to find. <laughs> yes, I recently had to hire some work, and the cost for pensions is daunting. <laughs> As I just randomly give out two hundred gold pensions with no question. No, to ask. he gave out way more than that. That's a signing bonus. He uh-huh. gave out thousand gold pensions. That's what I'm offering for when they die. You paid to whoever you say. Yeah. Don't think I get that money even if they live. It's just the family's going to get If they get back. Yes, yeah, so if they proceed and get back, they, they then will get their full money. I also like the words to get back, as in, we win the war, then we bugger off and get home your own selves, we don't care. Because <laughs> I can't see Eric, you know, slowing down, walking an army back home. No. <laughs> he'll go and give it to their families and when they get back to their families they'll, they'll be there <laughs> no the worst part is he's going to show them and be like oh yeah here's your pension I can walk actually, off and I like, can actually a foresee him later. now with that sequester thing being able to set things literally just having it like each one already the money is just set aside to appear when <laughs> the <laughs> conditions fun. are met <laughs> now I don't even have to come back to deal oh, with this oh man that's almost tragic going to the house and be like the money will appear when he gets back or if he dies they're just sitting at home having dinner. Giant pile of money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> at least we're rich now. <laughs> Come on. Oh. No, no. You know what? At the very least, they know. That's probably one of the biggest issues with it is the unknowing. Yeah, they know immediately what happened. <laughs> really tragic. They rearranged the room, forgot exactly where you put it. All that money crushes Timmy. He dies too. <laughs> Very <laughs> Why did you have to pay us in copper? <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> Why was it in statues of <laughs> ancient people? <laughs> I had it valued. <laughs> no, clearly you put the statue inside of an outhouse and they make it appear when somebody looks down at what they've just done. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not gonna act like I haven't had those days, but it's been a while. Oh well, yeah, I'll see if uh, he's got any interest in uh, putting together some volunteers to go and fight the good fight. I mean, it, I know the good. I, 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 I'm, I'm worth this in a fight myself. Don't. Well, I mean, you know, I, like one on one, one I can, I can, I can hold my own. Yeah. But you know, wars, wars, wars are different. Yes, yes. Are there Specialties. I mean, physical. I mean, like, proper oh, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah, bring up that uh, one of the major forces up there is there's a uh, large, uh, one of the main things that these guys are enslaving is there's like a dwarven clan down there called the Duguar. Never heard of them. Well, they just recently got a god, and he's one of the guys helping us do the fight. A god on our side, eh? Two. Yeah, <laughs> technically two. Well, technically one. 
One of them has pledged some forces. Oh, okay. <laughs> the other, one of them is not showing up to the fight. No. <laughs> yes, but he, he became a god, and then he also enlisted the help of some devils. Because the devil also got a god. Well, that's no good. He was a pretty nice guy when I met him. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me the eye. Nice, right? A little, a little, uh... A little off-putting, actually. Kind of makes me feel a little bit uh, queasy. He should be off-putting because nice. he's fat. And he should it's have very more intimidating. Can I see that? Well, whatever this new god that you uh, seem to have uh, made allies with, you know, that uh, can't be a good thing. Uh, Mordorin always needs new allies. Is that the name of the country, the city, the county, the fair? County fair? It's the name of your god. <laughs> Bless you. You said Borodin. Moradin. Oh, oh Moradin. Oh, oh, well, you need to enunciate better. Uh, I, I don't know my history, but is this guy directly opposed to Moradin? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not right now. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> So, out of curiosity, being tangentially related to this guy coming into existence, I'm not in trouble for that, right? Not yet. Not yet. Wait, I'll get in trouble for it later? He might. We're going to see. Maybe. This is not my fault. It could be your fault. It's totally not. Okay. What if we need a scapegoat? He wouldn't do that. He's a dwarven god. Book of grudges. <laughs> I don't get a grudge for that. It wasn't my fault. That's not how grudges work. <laughs> that is not how grudges work. <laughs> My God, I wouldn't do that to me. It's not my fault. You don't think so? You think it'll be fine? You also I mean, don't know that this is going to be an issue. Oh, they hid that in there, eh? Yep. What? Find greater steed. Yeah. What about it? I was looking for spells to wish with. Oh okay. yeah. Why do you want to find a greater steed? Because it's freaking hilarious. Is it there forever? Can yeah. it be a whale? No. But it can be like a griffin. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, then Ryan cool. will kill it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan will kill a griffin out of principle. No, because he told Dustin like seven times not to get a griffin, and if he does get one, he's going to kill it because you can't have a griffin; it will ruin the game. And Dustin insisted. So the first episode, first uh, session, Dustin walks in with this stupid freaking griffin, and Ryan kills it. Surprise! surprise. I found that giving players the ability to fly can definitely ruin some of your plans. Yep. Don't worry about it. How are your brooms working out for you? Awesome. <laughs> Best uncommon magic item ever. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That, that should be common. Just everyone's floating around and boom. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to fake hit you, and I'm going to actually hit you. You'll feel terrible. It, it I'll feel terrible, but remember, it was for this time when you actually deserved it. Don't worry. I'll poke you when you hit me. That's a good point. Does, uh... These guys are all big and fancy. Do they know, like, the king or whatever? I mean, we... we, we. Look at your fat, some fancy dinner parties, things like that. Well, I can, uh, I can get a... I think they I would just call them dinner parties and not call them fancy new, dinner parties. With the new dwarf clan down there. Even though they're far away. It's like a mind connection thing. I gave one to the drows, too, so that they could... You know, I mean, there's a new kingdom rising up. Might be a good time to get in, the, get ahead of the trade negotiations. Right. And they're about to go into a war, and you know that's always big money. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the inside you track. You need arms. Yeah. What's what? You're an arms dealer, right? No, the arms are your profit. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll bring one of those here, and you guys can either use it yourselves or get it to somebody who, who can make big decisions. Right. Um, we all make big decisions around these laws. Yeah, yeah, we all make big decisions. Over drinks! Yes! yes. <laughs> then we drink. <laughs> I'll eventually find him and get one of the Oreos. I'm in town. Yes, I, I do eventually uh, go to the Mage's Guild to ask someone if I could buy a sending to contact my friend in the Mage's Guild. After I finish up my sharpening of the axe, I start working on this next order. 
I just work here. <laughs> just you work crazy here. hobo. <laughs> I just work here. Do, do you still have your astral stone, Jimmy? Have you given it away to anyone? Uh, I was going to give it to the drow, but she already had one, so she was using it. So I would have given it one. to the uh, mushroom. Mushroom, yeah. Okay. So I don't have one. I don't have one. I never grabbed one because I don't need one. <laughs> I'm just here because I'm not allowed to leave yet. Okay. And then I've got the remainder. Are we even going to try the gnomes? Or are we just not going to bother? Uh, I might talk to them, but probably leave them safe and sound. <laughs> That's like, uh, they're going to say no anyways, so no one cares. <laughs> Uh, at most, I could ask my uh, one friend, and he can build uh, some uh, shield guardians. I think that would take more than the two week deadline we have, or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really happy about this. I wanted to at least to get my books and get my armor and stuff upgraded because my like armor needs to be upgraded so that I can uh, have a bonus to my stuff. What are you looking at me for? It, it'd be giving me bonuses to saves is what I wanted. Well, we'll see. We, we've got mop-up stuff to try first. And it's ascending as a third level? Yep. For 150 gold. Are you balking at the price? <laughs> yes, I was like, I'll yeah, just use it tomorrow. I'm not giving up 150 gold for that. <laughs> but thank you for your time. Well, wait, what else are you going to use money on? I don't know. I don't have any. <laughs> I've spent all mine. And yours. You just got a whole bunch of gold. I don't know what you're talking about. Totally not cursed gold. <laughs> By the way, have you bothered to take the time to remove curse on the other two of you? No, they yeah. haven't. I would have during the time. We didn't we, say you did. We had a day and a half. It takes me an hour to recharge that spell. <laughs> Would we have noticed that we were cursed? At some point. Yes. During the combat, you probably would have mm-hmm. noticed some things are going wrong. <laughs> I didn't figure any of those. But so, um, I mean, you had a half a day, so you finished your... Finished my eight hours of spell writing? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and cast sending, contact Jimmy, and it's like, okay, I'm finished writing, where are you? You're in Barovin? We are in, in Barovin. No, you're not. No? <laughs> you're in Narmixel. We are in Narmixel. <laughs> Barovin's the drow city. Yeah, no. Barovin's the drow city. Narmixel's the dwarven city with the golden front. <laughs> so it's on? like, well, I'm at the Mages Guild in Narmixel, so you could just come here. Get, go there, it's like, they tried to charge, charge me 150 gold for Cindy. <laughs> That's about right. But <laughs> I'm working very hard. Yes. How many orders have I completed? <laughs> it's not really necessary orders at this point. He's just kind of letting you build up stock in his shop. So, yes, he's uh, cooking, he's made you something to eat. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I'm sort of interested in his plan. So you get it, uh, I don't uh, think I've ever seen a, d- a non-dwarf be able to craft like that. <laughs> Eric teleported us. Oh, okay. He, 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 he's off talking to <laughs> nobles to try to keep my, them limestone. Holy oh, so yeah. is not <laughs> the right one. You know where Car- Caledon went? <laughs> it's the well, lost we orphans. Came, we came into town in a smithy, so... Which really funny yeah. to him makes him think you probably were raised by dwarves. You were an orphan that got... <laughs> I mean, it would explain how I so perfectly am dwarfy. Yeah! <laughs> so perfectly dwarfy. Um, so, how, how did your uh, end of things go? And I've uh, completed a lot of my writing. Uh, the drow seem in on it, or at least they're using the Mind Stone to coordinate, and we got the veggie pygmies from the uh, mushroom people are going to go march with us. Okay. And... Eric's currently talking to rich people right now. I guess our next stop is the Spire. The E. Tabrick Snem? Mm-hmm. I just came from there. Oh. Did you talk to their upper echelon to 
try to get. I, I talked to uh, my uh, the higher members of the mages guild. Yeah. Who I uh, seem to be like the people with the most clout over there, and they said that they would consider it. Uh, I might have uh, got a dragon interested in assisting us. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah. So, uh, no, one of the next things to do is after we finish whatever we want to do here is uh, I want to gather us up and uh, see if we can help out uh, uh, our um, angel friend who's in trouble. Oh, yeah, the one that's in your brain? Magic? Your magical? Yeah, he's, he's in your magical. He's, yeah, he, he's in my pocket dimension. Wait, what? Thump, 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 thump. Thump, 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 thump. Mm-hmm. So, did I miss this? Uh, re- remember the You're angel probably co- playing Candy Crush or whatever. I probably was. <laughs> yeah, re- remember the angel covered in blood? Yeah. We kidnapped him from the hell and put him in the... I semi- thought that was a her. It was sort of. It's Angel. A- a- angel. angel. They're... Whatever. Maribel? Or... They are not hermaphroditic. Uh, androgynous. Yeah. That's the one. So you went how far down? In hell? All the way. Why would you do such a thing? Have you ever been? It's a hell of an adventure. Muriel. And I met the boss of hell. That was pretty cool. And then he became a god, which was also pretty cool. And it doesn't sound cool. cool. And he gave me this eye, which pretty nice. Like I said, disturbing. You disturbing to look at. <laughs> Keep looking that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's proof of my grand adventures. How many people do you know that have been to the bottom of hell, met the king of hell, got him to be into a god, and then came back? Wasn't you? Weren't you a half elf last time you talked to this dude too? I may have been. I I recognize it. The cup. <laughs> the you see this color thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one else would dress so. At, at this point, his assumption is purely that is a result of you going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my birdie eye and my, you know, purple skin and tail. <laughs> I know, you haven't talked about the purple skin and tail. You're like, but look at the eye. You're yeah. like, that is not the problem here. <laughs> no, the rest of it they've seen before. <laughs> and then, so, there's a wall. Yeah. Like, what kind of, you know, terrain are you going up against? What's... Ooh, I imagine caves. Look, I, yes, tunnels, caverns. <laughs> but what's the fear of battle? Well, to start, it's probably going to be a lot of hit and run while we gather up the slaves and free them from the yoke of the uh, brain-eating masters. Right. Well, then I suppose it depends on how many people we can get that haven't had their brains eaten about whether we choose big battlefields or small ones. And so, what are your options up there? This is a, you know, one, you know, you know, military strategist enthusiast to do another. Well, I've put together a team of uh, elite mercenaries that I'll be personally leading into battle. You're right, bro. Otherwise, I'll leave the rest of the drudgery to professionals. Professional generals. <laughs> yeah, just strategicians. So who's scouted there? Well, that's what the uh, Dugar God is doing. Ah, so you haven't heard back yet. No. All right. But, but he does get on the walkie-talkie and talk to people. I have a walkie-talkie? You don't, but you can tell them about the walkie-talkie that we're going to give them a walkie-talkie. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, I mentioned that. When yeah. I see him, I'll give it. And give it to them. And they can get all the information from him themselves. Mm-hmm. By the way, I don't know how much attention you're paying, but that is totally not what something he's doing. <laughs> Hmm? No, but that was totally our job after we gathered the armies of scouting. Oh, oh the Duwar not doing that? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. I am aware. <laughs> but it's like, maybe Gith and her people are doing it. I am making, and gasp, baseless claims. <laughs> the rest of you probably know where you can find him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why would I look? And say so you would. I've got a new job. Well, uh, say I think uh, if we can get that, we go ahead. You know what the big that. difference between this job and the other one was? I don't get paid. You paid this guy to work this job. 
No, I paid him specifically so I could use his forge for my axe. He, because you don't talk a whole lot, he hasn't given a difference so much as, well, yeah, you got a while, if you, whatever you want to do here, yeah, you want to practice up, hold up your, yeah, here, we'll cook you something up. Because I've got a couple things that I want to do in getting that angel into the, uh, back in working order, if possible, was uh, something that I want to get done before we... I really thought we would just, would just either A, drop them in the middle of the battlefield, or just teleport to the surface and kick them out. Uh, both possibilities, but I wanted to see if I wanted to fix them legit first. I don't know if you could, but I have it on good authority that <laughs> heavens are assholes and not, you know, kind and That's forgiving. That's why I'm going to be going to one of the gods in my book who is a nicer person. Because, yes, some of them are pretty strict mm -hmm. in how they interpret good. I want to go to one yeah. who is a bit more free. Just take it to St. Cooper. Guilty! <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Look at that evil dick! Cut his half! <laughs> yes, whilst I'm doing my forging, I'm doing prayers the entire time. No, St. Cooper is the best it, that's it. His neutral. forging book is <laughs> the book yeah. of prayers. Extremely lawful neutral. <laughs> It's like, well, is it the law? Yes, but the law is unjust. I don't understand what you're saying. You just said it was the law, so you're not being just. That's what you're saying? No, it, the law basically takes everything from me and it's completely unjust. But it is the law. Yeah, really. Well, hold on, hold on. Is it my interpretation of the law or like Hexor or something? Let me look at that law real quick. <laughs> nope, nope, it's written in plain English. It says right here. You are property. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. Right there in the I, law. It's like, <laughs> why is this chair talking to me? What What happens when the lawful deities rules lawyer each other? <laughs> so have a good day. Do, do we just stop at an inn for the night and? Well, go ahead and meet up with everybody and uh, ask uh, Eric if um, Eric and Kaladin if they want to go on a uh, attempt in order to fix Muriel up. Who? Uh, do we have one of those mind talky orbs? Yeah, yeah, I can give it to an orbs. Orbs. Yeah. yeah, you can have whatever another one of the astral stones. Yeah. 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 Roll that and give that to the guy. Here you go. Chad. There you go. This is the magical doohickey that lets you talk to uh, the thing. To the god. Yes. <laughs> Make good friends with him. I am good friends. I feel like making an impression. He's a good guy. And you are, sir. This man who um, totally has a name. Mm. Many call me uh, Marcus. Marcus. Is good. Uh, I believe it was Marcus. That's one of them. Uh -huh. Marcus slash George. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a few names. <laughs> and yeah, that was one of them. <laughs> but yes, he's a good guy. We can trust him. Some people call me Jeff. <laughs> Are they correct when they call you that? No. That is not my name. <laughs> well, is it Fred? Uh, here. You get one, you get one, in case you come across somebody else who needs one. What? You, yeah, You're not, not there. You're not talking to royalty at all. Uh -huh. y y y yeah, are you there, Kyle? Well, well, is it night time? I mean, unless you decide to quit, you give him 15 gold, he's not going to make you stop. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop when I get tired. Yeah, it's like, you're the boss in this situation right now. He's just got so much do dads and do hickeys, and I just smelted down a lot of his uh, metal into bars so he can like nice and easy work with it. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he know that's how you run a shop? <laughs> just to start processing inventory. He has customers coming, like, oh, he got some help. No. <laughs> I had for, giant crazy. No, he paid money. for the privilege. I'm glad you see him too. <laughs> he just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Threw money at me. And, and started, started working. <laughs> First he did this weird thing with his axe I've never seen before. Six months. <laughs> no, no, I love that you're not being a dwarf right now. You're being an elf. Huh? You're being a little helper elf. That just appeared in the middle of the day, magically, and they're helping him with his work. But yeah, let me go ahead and gather up. Uh, oh, I've just, uh, I'll put uh, the little margin, margin symbol on everything that I make yeah. for him. So, you know, once I leave, 
And he goes to look over all the stuff that I've made him. I must have been praying really good because I'm never going back there again. <laughs> As he teleports based on his luck. Yeah, just show up again, I look at him. That once a day. Show up again, look at him, take my axe and like break something. Walk out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I haven't been praying hard enough. He saw. <laughs> <laughs> Just give people extra. I always <laughs> no more than he, he's not an actual dwarf. He's just a very dwarf like. <laughs> <laughs> he's just really dwarfy. It just brings to mind the phrase huge midgets. He, he's a Goliath with a beard. He is the most dwarfy giant. That was it, the old mighty the old mighty Johnsons, there was a very short dwarf and a, a very short giant and a very tall dwarf. So you're able to find him walking out as you wander away from his Party. Okay. It's like uh, Kaladin. <laughs> Kaladin, no. Uh, <laughs> you just show up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's like, well, we knew where you were. Uh, <laughs> You're right where they left you. <laughs> I was just like, oh, turn around and look at the only smith in the area. <laughs> Realize what city you are in right now. <laughs> so, I remember being here. <laughs> It'll either be here or the church. Okay, I, I, um, I'm planning on us going on a uh, trip to try to see if we can fix up Muriel. Uh, do you want to come with us? I don't know what that is. Muriel's the angel. Is the he he wants angel. to go try to plane hop again and make more sessions. <laughs> I would suggest you do. This is going to be great fun. Well, theoretically, it will distract Eric long enough for more of our magic items to be processed. <laughs> Where do you go for the evening? Magnificent Mansion? Say so we can do that. In the middle of the street. Uh, Don't see why not. Uh, the house. Door. In the middle of the street. <laughs> um... Better than the tiny hut in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> it's like, did, it's like, do we need someone to dispel magic or disintegrate? <laughs> I like your assumption. I'm not going to throw you into a sudden combat right here. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you can start it, but you'll be next time on Dragon Ball Z. Unless it's this time on Dragon Ball Z. No, of course not. We have to spend the next four or five sessions powering up. This is the final battle. This is our effectively session screaming while we power up. Now I'm just thinking of, you know, the four weeks we are gone, screaming, getting ready for this, you know, giant outsider thing, and poof. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll start calculating some experience while yeah, I'm yeah. him to figure out what's going on. He oh. magnificent mansion. I think he's just writing notes now. No, no, I, I was thinking that we should probably go to, uh, who, who was uh, the gate guard, Fred? Go to his house in order to set up our mansion? Oh, yeah, R random old dwarf. Hey, he was friendly to us. That means he'll, he's got... That's basically a lifetime invitation. <laughs> that, that's just hospitality whenever we need it. Damn, I told you, Fred, not to be next to the adventurers. This is what happens. They show up 20 years later and they still think they're your friend. You <laughs> tell you, when we're under attack, who are they going to show up and defend? <laughs> like, seriously, they're worse than cats. You uh, fed them, didn't you? You shouldn't have fed them. <laughs> we, we can actually go to uh, the uh, Dwarven Mother's uh, Temple. They'll set us up either which way. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, or, or, or you could just set up an invisible door in an alleyway. I could do that. All things that can be done. However, I might as well go there. I mean, I did help them teach, but I could always, you know, invite the who's ever staying there if they want to stay in the mansion. We've got enough rooms and food to feed people. So. Okay, that, that would be hilarious. Hey, all you orphans, come get the best meal of your life. Yeah. And also, there's a pool. There's a mm, yeah. pool, sunshine roof. Yeah. Come experience the beach. Have servants and a nice floating warm bed for the day.
So yeah, that that sounds like a good plan is to go to the dwarven mother's place and ask everybody to come and join us in the mansion. Very well. And that's where we'll pick up next time. Uh, 7,500 uh, experience. 75,000? 7,500. 75 million? No. And join us next time for more. Bye. Huzzah!